Hi, and welcome to another Liberty on the Rocks training video. Today I'd like to talk about what Liberty on the Rocks is all about. First, I'd like to begin by reading the Liberty on the Rocks mission statement, which is a brief summary of the goals of the organization. Liberty on the Rocks is a nonpartisan, nonprofit social organization that seeks to unite individuals, regardless of political affiliation, who desire liberty. With the goal of facilitating networks, friendships, and intelligent conversation, Liberty on the Rock seeks to initiate the energy and dialogue necessary to move America from the grassroots up towards the principles of freedom upon which our nation was founded. Now to talk about what Liberty on the Rocks is all about. Liberty on the Rocks is about getting individuals together in a friendly social atmosphere in order to network and, and chat over drinks about promoting freedom in America. Just by simply getting people together, it encourages them to talk more about what is going on. It allows them to better gain and disseminate knowledge to stay motivated to fight against the coming of socialism by getting involved, and to stay better up to date on what is going on, both locally and nationally, making it more likely it'll stay fresh in their mind and they won't forget it. Liberty on the Rocks is also about getting people motivated to get involved in the fight for liberty. This can be promoted through your Liberty on the Rocks meetups in many ways. The first of which is simply to encourage individuals to become better educated on the principles of liberty. This can be done simply by inviting people to educational events that promote these principles in your local community, either via announcements or through literature set out at the meetups. It can also be done by motivating individuals to then take this information and teach it to those in the community, whether it's at the water cooler, the dinner table, or at the bar with friends. It's also important to announce local rallies and protests so they can have their voice heard and know they're making a difference. You can also encourage individuals to call their representatives senators, and congressmen to challenge them to promote liberty and freedom and to hold their feet to the fire when they don't. Also, inspire your guests to better disseminate the messages of liberty by either writing a letter to the editor or starting their own blog. This is just to name a few examples. Liberty on the Rocks is also meant to provide encouragement to individuals who feel that they are alone in the liberty viewpoint. Making, it, making them better equipped to fight is there is definitely strength in numbers. And last and most importantly, Liberty on the Rocks is about spreading the messages of liberty and freedom. This can also be done at your chapter meetups using a, in a variety of ways. The first of which is by inviting guests and activists to bring brochures, flyers, and postcards to leave out for people to take, which provide information on the principles of liberty, information about liberty-based organization or group, either local or nationwide, how people can get involved, or events that are coming up. This may also be done by inviting representatives of local groups that promote liberty to come and briefly speak to the crowd about what they are doing, events they are having, and how others can get involved or volunteer. You're also free to invite other activists to come who have an educational background that can provide educational tidbits and research to the Liberty on the Rocks crowd. Also, it's great to invite other activists in the community to come out so they can network with the crowd and get them to sign up for other events that are coming up that are important or help them find ways that they can volunteer. Just be sure to make it obvious that Liberty on the Rocks does not support specific candidates or specific legislation as we are a nonpartisan organization. One of the easiest ways to get this information out, in addition, is by allowing those guests who would like to speak for a minute or two in front of the crowd about something that they would like to promote, whether it's another organization in the community, something that people can do to get involved, any event that's coming up, or important information on something that people need to know. While it's very important to understand the, what Liberty on the Rocks is all about, it's also imperative to understand what Liberty on the Rocks is not. Liberty on the Rocks is not a partisan organization. We welcome and encourage individuals of all political parties or no political parties to attend these meetups. The goal of the organization is to create a big tent group where individuals of all parties can get together to discuss the issues of freedom and how to better get involved in promoting these issues. Liberty on the Rocks is not candidate based. As a nonpartisan group, we are not only forbidden by law to support specific candidates, but the very principles of the organization denounce it as well. This is important because it creates a much more welcoming atmosphere, as choosing sides may polarize groups. Liberty on the Rocks focuses on education, including educating individuals on what particular candidates stand for, and most importantly, what these individual candidates are doing, or elected officials are doing once they actually get into office. It is up to the members of Liberty on the Rocks and other grassroots organizations that promote liberty to hold these politicians accountable when they do something opposite of liberty. Also, Liberty on the Rocks is not a promoter of conspiracy theories. While Liberty on the Rocks does agree that the government is not an institution to be, trust to be trusted, that would indeed be the case with or without proving major conspiracy theories to be true. 
Whether or not any so-called conspiracy theory is true, Liberty the Rocks see such theories as a threat to the national movement as they can turn the very individuals away whom we want to become more involved. This clearly makes it much more difficult to educate people on the principles of limited government, free markets, and individual rights. During this crucial time, it is very important that we provide a good name for ourselves and that we give as little ammunition as possible to the progressives who are going to be attacking our viewpoint. No chapter president has the permission to give out this propaganda at Liberty on the Rocks meetups, and any such behavior will result in having the privilege to use a Liberty on the Rocks name revoked. And lastly, Liberty on the Rocks is not meant to be a pushy organization. While we encourage, while the main goal of organization is to motivate and encourage others to get involved with the liberty movement, this does not happen by being pushy and aggressive. Liberty on the Rocks encourages individuals to spread the word of freedom using the tactics of the Socratic, Socratic method, which involves asking questions, or simply being kind, polite, and informative. Whether you believe individuals should be registered libertarians, republicans, unaffiliate, or not registered at all, being aggressive and pushy is no way to get that point across. So as a chapter president and organizer, it is not only important to be polite and reasonable when trying to galvanize others, it is also important to encourage your members to do the same. If you have any questions about what Liberty on the Rocks is or is not, or what you're able to do on behalf of Liberty on the Rocks, please send an email to amanda at Thanks for watching.